Hello, I'm Steve, this is Bit of Munch. And in this video, I'm going to be eating Louis Capaldi's Big Sexy Cheesy One. It's a pizza. Louis Capaldi's Big Sexy Cheesy One pizza. Now, I've already reviewed the Big Sexy Meaty One. I think that's what it was called anyway. And that was excellent. In fact, I bought it a few more times after I reviewed it, because it's so good. This was £2 from Iceland, by the way. Um, the price of these things tends to go up and down all the time. When they first came out, they were a fiver. And I thought, I'm not paying a fiver for a pizza just because it's got his name on it. So I didn't. Then they went down to two quid. Then they went up to four quid. Now they're back down to two quid. And that's what I paid for this one. So let's show you. Let's show you the pizza. Where's my oven gloves? There they are, because it's still on the baking tray. Right. And there it is. Uh, <laughs> how much of an angle do I dare to put that at? There yeah, I do. Um, as you can see, half of it looks different to the other half. And uh, put them over there. That's because half of it is how Lewis intended. And half of it, I have added uh, red onion, barbecue chicken, and extra cheese. Because extra cheese is always good. Right. The chicken I've used, this has been in my freezer forever. In fact, the date on it was sometime in December last year. I won't take it out of the bag, but it's, it's Morrison's Sweet and Smoky Barbecue Chicken. And uh, of course it's got a yellow sticker on it. It was reduced from 2 pounds 75 p And that's been in my freezer. Well, that's, that's about six months, isn't it? So anyway, I took it out last night, put it in my fridge to defrost. So I put half of that pack on the pizza. So I've got half there to go in the sandwich tomorrow. That can go now back in my fridge. I've also made myself a dip. There's the dip. <laughs> when I say made myself, that sounds a bit pretentious, doesn't it? All I've done is squirted loads of mayo in there and and added some garlic and stirred it all together. Works really well, actually. Um, I've made dips like this with other spices as well. Smoked paprika works well. The Nando's, uh, there it is. That one works well, as well. Makes a nice dip. Anyway, <clears throat> back to the pizza. This has got five different cheeses on it. Mozzarella, mozzarella, Irish Valley Cashel, I think that's how you say it. Monterey Jack, Provolone and Pec Pecorino. Yeah, so it should be cheesy. It should be anyway. Yeah, it should be. Right. So obviously I'm going to try a slice first without anything extra on it. And there it is. So, uh, <laughs> gradually, gradually limping base, I think we say, we should say that is. There, there it goes. Right. Cheers. You know what? I don't think this has got any sauce on it. Oh, tomato puree. Um, garlic and herbs. But where's the sauce? Where's the sauce? Hmm. 
that's really nice actually. The, the base isn't too thin, isn't too thick. Um, the blend of cheeses is quite mild to be honest. It's not a strong cheese taste. It's more of a creamy cheese taste. But there's no, I can't see any sauce. Oh, there it is. There's the sauce. Right, now I've peeled that back. Let's try it. How strange. <clears throat> Barely taste of tomato at all. But, yeah. Mm hmm. Good you roll. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> yeah, the blend of cheeses. Does it need five cheeses? I don't know. But it's a mild cheese taste. There's barely any tomato taste at all. And barely any herb taste at all, to be honest. It's a cheesy bread. I mean, for two pound for a big cheesy bread, it's okay. Yeah, it's nice, it's good. But it's not what it, what they're advertising. It's nowhere near as good as the meaty one. It really isn't. The meaty one is excellent. It, a bit disappointing, but it's still very good. I like it. As a cheesy bread, as I said, it's good. Right, let's see what it's like with all my extra toppings on it. As I said, I've got uh, red onion, barbecue chicken, and... Quite a lot of it, well, a fair amount of extra cheese on there. And that's Cathedral City Extra Mature. Mmm. Yeah. <clears throat> that makes it more interesting. I tried a bit of this barbecue chicken before I put it on the pizza because quite often with barbecue flavour things I'm not keen on them. Not if they're too sweet. Well, this is described as sweet and smoky barbecue but it's more smoky than sweet. In fact it's, it's very smoky. That works really well with the extra cheese and the onion. Yeah. Hmm. Let's just try, so as I said, this pizza as it is, it's just cheesy bread, basically. So let's see what it's like as cheesy garlic bread. Here we go. That works, that's good. So, this is a bit of a strange one, because as I said, the meat version of this is excellent. It's really good. When it's on offer for two quid, buy it. <laughs> it's as simple as that. This one, if you're expecting an incredibly cheesy pizza, that's not what you're gonna get. You're gonna get a a cheesy, but a mildly cheesy taste, bread, with hardly any tomato taste or herb taste whatsoever. But having said that, it's still very nice, but it's just not what it advertises on the box. 
in my opinion. Your opinion may be different. I respect everybody's opinions. Everybody tastes things differently, don't they? You might have tried that pizza and think it's incredible. And that's fine. That's fine. Okay. I'm going to enjoy that. I don't know if I'll get through all of it this evening because I'm not incredibly hungry. So, I might leave that bit. <laughs> anyway, I'll better stick that on a plate and uh, take me drink in with me. Yep, no work tomorrow. And uh, I'm going to enjoy that. Right, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, stick a, stick a like on it. That would mean a lot to me. That would help the channel out. And I will see you in the next video.